grade. So we have come to the last week of school and traditionally what we do every single year is look at all of the work that we've done and look at all the accomplishments and really remember where we have been on our journey. And so I have here uh, all of my form drawings and because I don't have them in a book, I have them all laid out on the floor and I'm going to take you on a journey um, through them so that we can look at them together. And I don't quite have everything with me here, so as you look in your main lesson book, you may notice that you have more than I do. <laughs> so uh, let's to go on this journey together. <clears throat> Here we go. So this came on the first day of school. Every one of us uh, drew this in the air. We looked around the room for all the curves and the lines and we talked about it and we drew this. And then the next day, I believe it was, we had our first main lesson book and we drew these very carefully together. I taught you how to do the borders and I remember how much care you brought to them and your books really reflect that. And then we did this and then there's another one that had X's and other um, line uh, kind of placements and those ones are what I don't have here. And then we did the big figure eight, we moved it outside and then we did the one where it was inside of it. We did smaller ones. And then we did spirals. And I remember that vividly. We started from, oh, it was the story of a, of a child who was going in, 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 and then got sad and then but that's where it was safe in, into his bedroom, something like that. And then we did it where we drew the, the first one and then it turned directions. We changed color and went back the other way. That would be fun for you to do sometime. And then we have these, remember? So we went from spiral to ones that were in triangle and square shapes. And then we had the same, but then we did these other loop-de-loops. And I don't have that one that you spent a lot of time on with these curves. Um, and then it went all the way across the page. Many of you did those. And then we did these. Looked at those again. And again, it might be a different order in your book because I don't remember perfectly. And then this was the first one like this. And we loved these ones. So here's another one. And what we did, because we wanted to work with a square, we started by drawing with the block straight down a certain number of times. And then we did the other. And then we just waited until we felt like we had a square of white in the middle. And then we started down the center and then across and then waited. And then we did our blue from there to there, and there to there, there to there, and there, and up. And then after we did blue, then we would do purple. And actually any order of colors is fine, but it was very satisfying to do. So you might like to do that one again. Some of you had them thicker and they came out a little differently, so where they didn't have any white in between, they just came up right against the other line, which was really effective also. And then we did this one. Same basic idea, but we started with a cross this way, and then did the orange from the middle and the orange. So that was that one. And then there was a period of time where we did some of these that were so different, and it started here, and then we moved and it got a curve and then it became a yin-yang and you loved that. That was really fun. And then since we've been distance learning, we have done the next ones that I'm going to show you. So this was right at that transition. We were 
we started this one in school and then we finished it at home and we began with the figure eight we actually did this on the stage with you walking it as a different people playing different parts of this so one person walked this figure eight another person had this narrow another person had this one and so on and then we went here which is a very different but it was the really the breathing of the waves up and down which was really satisfying and that is a video if you haven't done this on the google classroom and then this one gets even more intricate again on the google classroom and then this one and all of these you can do on your sidewalk with the chalk actually which is what i did and then the very last one we have for now is this which was really rather satisfying to do and there we go so i hope you enjoyed the journey through our form drawing and look forward to next year doing more and more of it and over the summer perhaps you'll get a chance that there'll be some new ones you can do as just something fun to do all right see you next year